outro cast. And Tanya, how's your day going besides talking to me? Good. You have a standing desk, Darren, don't you? I have a mat underneath me. I have a desk that I turned into a standing desk. You do not. <laughs> or do you when you're not? Do you, have, do you have one of those walking treadmills that they're advertising on TikTok? You know, the ones that you can slip under your desk? I want that, but... Do you know anyone who's actually done that or had that? I have no idea. I I admire your setup and your bookshelf and and your house. Your place is awesome. I'll tell my wife you said so because there's sometimes doubts as to whether or not this is efficient. But we're not here to talk about my home space. We're All here right, to talk fine. about Walden. Uh, when yes. did you actually film Walden? We filmed Walden, I think, sometime in July of last year, I believe. So it's been a relatively quick turnaround, only a year or so. For an indie film, that's that's good. Yeah. That's I'm excellent. So, some of these junkets that I do, 2019 is still the answer. And you go, okay. Yeah, because of COVID. I know. Well, this was one of the first things that I did after, right after Goliath. I mean, we finished the last season of Goliath mm -hmm. in 2020, I think. 2020, yeah. And then it aired in 2021. Uh, and then everything kind of stopped and then and then Walden came along. Yeah. Well, speaking of Goliath and all that, I think you hold the record for most syndicated shows going on at the same time. Is that true? No. You probably do at this point between Malcolm and Lost and all that. But either way, <laughs> uh, great cast for Walden, yourself included. Who had hey. you worked with before from it? I hadn't worked with anyone before. The only person I knew was the casting director who... Her name's Shannon McCannion. She's wonderful and awesome. And she has great taste and she sent me the script. But beyond that, I didn't know anyone. But I was huge fans of everybody's work. Like I remember seeing Emil on uh, for in Into the Wild and Shane. What have I seen Shane on? Um, I think a couple TV shows, Nikita among others, and just knew of him and always thought he was a great actor, you know? A and then Kelly or the Germans. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of yeah. course. Sure. Oh, yeah. What we do is see, right? That's it. That was it. That was that. It was that one about the germs. And then, um, and then, but Kelly Garner, especially, like, I've always, always loved her and, like, followed her career. I just thought she was a fantastic actress ever since The Aviator. And then, uh, and then um, her Marilyn with Susan Sarandon, I thought, was, like, the, still, sorry, the best Marilyn ever. Uh, and, uh, and she's just a total sweetheart and awesome actress. And I was, I just was so happy to meet her. So um, she's rad. So I, I love the casting. Yeah, I thought it was a really fun, quirky, like kind of esoteric group of actors and like really wanted to be a part of it. For you playing a detective, was there a lot of extra prep needed? You know, I mean, you do the best you can. <laughs> I've never played a detective before. I have played a cop a couple times on a couple of things here and there. Um, what was nice about this, it was like less about the cop stuff and more about the relationship between the two detectives. And so for me... You know, what was most important was to have like a realistic shorthand with Shane. And because we had, didn't know each other, we only had like a day to kind of like have oh. coffee and talk about the script. And then we started shooting right away. But thankfully, you know, uh, it all worked out and we got along really well and, and it was super fun. And and I just kind of leaned on that, you know. You never know when people are playing the detective, the investigator, the cop, et cetera, if they immerse themselves in a six week tailing a local precinct or they just go it, it's a good script I, I think i'll follow it and i'll ask what the director wants and that's that i mean typically if it's not well it just depends on what you're doing but typically if there isn't too much cop stuff meaning like really technical crap with guns and like raids and things that you would really need to look not stupid for oftentimes there'll be like a, a technical advisor on set that can tell you like listen don't hold the gun like that you look ridiculous you know that kind of thing and yeah. then you try to sort of you know just I guess imitate what you've seen on tv a million times but you know thankfully for this this was more of a it's not a quiet drama but for the cop part of things it really was more about the relationship between the characters did you have the onset technical advisor for detectives we did not, but you know, there's a lot of tough ass guys on set that know how to shoot and carry guns. So I think we were we were we were in the south, um, so we mm -hmm. were covered. You know, yeah. I find it funny. I, I'm I'm an investigator for a living. Besides all these interviewers, you and, are. Yeah, and what oh. people think a PI does is exactly the opposite. A lot of them are just people behind a computer like me that are looking through right. records and go, look into that, look into that, and right. here's the report. Like, they're closer to writers, researchers, than they are badasses in the streets. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the sad truth, isn't it? 
Uh, so back to you here. Uh, Walden to us is a new movie. To you, it's kind of an old movie, even though it came out quick for an indie. Are we allowed to know what's next from you? Because sometimes you're on TV, sometimes you're in yeah. movies, et cetera. You know, I've got a couple little films also that were sort of stalled before COVID that are in kind of uh, some release uh, pattern to be announced at some point. We also had a strike uh, that lasted quite a while. And so, right. which is, I'm so glad we're talking now because none of this was allowed until now. Right. Um, and so a lot of things that I was going to do or looking into that were kind of pushed or put on hold seem to be picking back up again, TV projects, et cetera. And so I'm hoping that like something in the TV space will happen soon, but because it's so early, I can't really say anything. Uh, but I'm looking forward to going back to work for sure, as I believe every single other actor on this weird planet called Hollywood uh, is, you know. <laughs> well, what do you do when you're not busy with the acting craft? Um, I write. Uh, I write. So I'm um, a writer and a director also. I'm working on a project and my mom is from Corsica, which is like an island in the south of France where Napoleon's from. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm writing a, like a fantasy series that takes place there because I spend like every summer there and my whole family lives out there. There's a lot of myth and magic in Corsica and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, and then I've written a lot of other TV pilots that are in various stages of like development. So when I'm not acting, I'm always, always trying to put together a project or do something, you know. So IMDb has bad art without you in cell division as the director credits. Is there a lot more than that, that we, the ignorant people don't know about? Uh, I mean, you know, like anybody, there's like a million in development things that may or may not happen at some point, you know. Um, but I am working with some, um, some of the producers from Goliath on a pilot that I wrote uh, that I hope now that the strike is over, we're going to be able to get back to it, hopefully. And that's like a funny half hour comedy set in LA um, or something else, perhaps, you know, I, I uh, uh, the one nice thing about being an actor, well, the nice part just, just of one it, nice thing, nothing else. Well, no, but the nice part of not working all the time, let's say if you've had a break is that you yeah. can be writing and thinking about stories that you want to tell too. And I think it's a really exciting time for a woman to do that kind of stuff. And we've had a strike. So what are you going to do anyway? Nothing's happening. So so yeah, so I spent a lot of this uh, this last summer on on various scripts, and uh, so we'll see. Hopefully, this year will be will be busy. I hope so. And the last question, which is a softball, before I let you go, what's the last concert that you went to for fun? Last concert I went to was uh, Danny Elfman and Fred Armisen uh, at the Hollywood Bowl performing uh, Nightmare, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas, Christmas live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It Did was that awesome. have Weird Al in it? No, no, I wish. Oh, that would be so cool. No, Fred Armisen was in it. Who else came up? Was there Catherine O'Hara one of the nights? I can't remember. But Danny Elfman performed the entire thing live. I mean, every single song. There was like 80,000 people there. It was out of control. That's a lot of people to be in one place at one time and not lose your cool. Yeah. yeah. So credit to yeah. you on that one. But uh, come on. congrats on Walden. Looking forward to the writing and directing projects as well. Thank Just you. Thank you for the many years of great art. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. That's nice. Outrocast.